What's up everybody? Jay the Video Game Guy here. Got another pickups video to show you guys. Lots of stuff here to show you. One's a Salvation Army deal and the other stuff is uh, my very first flea market deal that I went to today. So uh, I'll get right to showing you guys the Salvation Army stuff first. Uh, I popped in there just to have another look, see what their prices were. Got another killer deal. So starting there we have 50 cents bulletproof for the Xbox. And that's complete. Really cool game, I like playing that. Um, for the PlayStation 2, I couldn't remember which one of these I had. I know I had one or the other, so I just picked them both out anyways. I paid $2 each for all these games. Uh, True Crime Streets of LA. Um, this one is complete. And uh, True Crime New York City. I couldn't remember which one. That's why I need to alphabeticalize my PlayStation 2 games and enter them all into my phone so that when I find one I can sift through and see if I have it. So there, that one's disc only. Uh, open season for the PlayStation 2. That one is complete. Armed and dangerous for the Xbox. And that one is, I could have swore there was a disc in there. It seems to be missing, so I guess I just have the case for that game. Robots for the Xbox. That one is complete. Um, the Bouncer? For uh, PlayStation 2. Never heard of this game. Looks kind of cool. It is complete. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like a street, like you're on the play the action movie. Oh, I guess it's based on a movie, I guess. It's kind of cool. Dragon Ball Z Budoke 2. But I, I know I'm not saying that right, but I'm Canadian. Badoke, Baduke, something. Disc only. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. I don't believe I have this one. So that was cool to pick up. That one is complete. Uh, I, think, I think just the posters in there and the manual is missing. So it's not complete. Star Wars Bounty Hunter. And that is disc only. And Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. And that is disc only. I checked all these discs in the store, which is really funny because I could have swore that this was com had the disc in it, but I, I guess it doesn't, which is kind of a bummer. But $2 for each of those that you've seen there. Uh, that was pickups from yesterday. Today, um, I've always been curious if there's been flea markets in the area. And I wasn't too sure if there was or not, so I just kind of started Googling. And apparently Calgary, there's a cross, it's called Crossroads Flea Market every Saturday and Sunday. So I thought, what the heck, I'll go in there today, have a look around. I was going to do some recording, but uh, it was so tough with my son. He's running around and, oh, look at this, wow, look at this, mommy, look at this, wow. Because the wife was with me too, so. Plus, you guys don't want to see my shitty camera work. Anyways, so. Some really cool stuff there. There were some vendors there that were asking ridiculous prices. I mean, the one guy was trying to sell a Super Nintendo with two controllers for $200, which was crazy. But uh, anyways, I did happen to find a... I didn't find the vendor myself. I was kind of looking around a little bit, poking my head in, and my wife walked in and she said, look around the corner. So I looked around the corner and there's a wall of games the guy had. So... Uh, Right away, he came up to me and said, first thing he said to me was, if you buy a lot, I'll give you a deal. So I thought, sure, that works out really good. Um, so I started looking through everything. He had quite a bit of PS2 and Xbox stuff, but I really my main goal today was to pick up some Super Nintendo titles to try and get that up a little bit. So um, I found some loose ones, and I'll just get right to showing you guys what they are. 
Uh, wings two, aces high. I'll try and get these close enough so you guys can see them. Uh, Bill Lanebeer's Combat Basketball. This is kind of cool because it looks like robotic basketball or something. So that's kind of neat. Lots of stickers all over them, but. Uh, the Adams Family Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt with a big old sticker right across the label. Hopefully that comes off. And this is Super super Putty or Pooty Putty, I think it is, or Putty Pooty. Anyways, um, the Adams Family and the Super Putty were $10 each. And then he threw in the... Uh, uh, Bill Lean Beers Basketball and the Wings 2 for $5 each. So that was a pretty good deal. He gave me those for $5 each. Um, and then I picked up Turn and Burn No Fly Zone. Um, complete in box for the Super NES. So now I have my second complete in box Super Nintendo game. Not a really great title, but it was the only one he had on the shelf for Super Nintendo in box. So I figured I'd buy that for, it was 10 bucks, So $10 for that. And uh, while I was looking through some more of his stuff, he asked me if I had an N64. I said, yes, I have multiple N64s. He said, well, I got some uh, complete factory sealed games for N64, which is really, really cool because um, I love the N64 boxes, and this one is factory sealed. Not a very great title, but WWF Attitude, get it? As you can see, it is factory sealed which is really, really neat. My first N64 box. Um, just a, I just want to ask everyone who watches my videos, if you guys have extra Nintendo 64 boxes, please, please, please message me below and let me know. I will buy them from you. Um, I just, I'm just looking to make some of my loose N64 games complete because they look so much better in the boxes. But if you guys do have some extra ones, uh, duplicates or whatever that you're not using, just message below or private message me, uh, let me know and I will definitely buy those from you or we could set up a trade if that's what you want, whatever you want to do. So that was really cool, $10 for that. So we left that booth, did a little more walking around. I found a, I found a booth that sells some uh, cards and stuff like baseball cards, hockey cards, all that good stuff. And we walked around the corner and he had a little stack of video games. Um, they were mostly just sports titles, but I sifted through them and picked out a few. He was selling them for five bucks each, so I got Shrek 2 for the PlayStation 2. And that is complete. And then I picked up Over the Hedge for the PlayStation 2, also for five bucks. So pretty good deals there. Um, yeah, so that was a really good experience for my first time ever being at a flea market video game hunting, which was kind of cool. Um, found some pretty good prices, stuff like that. So, there, I mean, there was that one vendor I went and looked at that was just... Uh, it had reseller written all over it, because as soon as I walked up to it, it was all nicely stacked games, and systems were plugged into TVs so that you could see that they worked and stuff like that. And She was selling N64s for $120 with no controllers and stuff, so... It was like, whoa, but uh, glad that uh, I had the wife along to help me out find this stuff. So some really cool stuff we got here in the last couple days. Uh, that's all the stuff I have to show you guys right now. Till next time, thumbs up the video, comment below. If you have any N64 boxes, private message me. Uh, I will purchase them or if, like I said, if you're wanting to set up a trade for them or something, we can look at doing that too. Uh, I do have some doubles for my Sega Genesis complete boxes and stuff, so let me know. Subscribe to the channel, and you guys have a good day.